I welcome you all for my channel Knowledge Center. Today in this session we are going to discuss about illumination and problems on the illumination. Illumination is nothing but it's an effect of light. So when we give an electrical energy, electrical energy can be converted into two forms that is heat and energy. Already we have discussed some of the applications like heating, electrical heating that we have discussed. So for that you can go through the description. There I have given the link of that previous videos. Now let us move on for the effect of uh, electrical energy that is another effect that is called light. So when we give electrical energy to an uh, body, uh, to an element that will develop heat as well as light. So when the temperature increases, the light will also take another output. So now that light what we are getting out of the electrical equipment or electrical lamp that will give an illumination means that will have an effect on the surface because of that illumination we can see the things easily now i will take up some problems on these illuminations so here I, on this board you can look into a question let us take the first question in this question they are given that two lamps of candle power 500 and 1200 so there are two lamps each is of having candle power of 500 and 1200 are hung at a height of 10 meters from the ground level. So from the ground level, the lamps are at a height of 10 meters. The distance between the lamps is 3 meters. So we have two lamps, so the distance is 3 meters. Find the illumination at a point on the ground directly below the 500 candle power lamp. So this is the statement they are given. To analyze these kind of problems, you need to draw it. So let's have the picture and representation of this. Two lamps of candle power are given. There are two lamps. And height of that between with respect to the ground is 10 meters. So we can have first two lamps. So I'll just draw the two lamps now. Say this is lamp 1. And let me take this as lamp 2. Okay. So just represent it like this. So lamp 1 and lamp 2. And assume that this is the ground level. So the height uh, from the ground level is 10 meters. So we have hung this with a height of 10 meters. So from this point to this point we will have a height as 10. 10 meters. Same for this. It will be 10 meters. So first you need to represent it pictorially. So then it will be easy to write and get an output. Now uh, finally we have one more statement here. The distance between the lamp is 3 meters. So lamp 1 and lamp 2, its distance, both are separated with a distance of 3 meters. The space between those two is 3 meters. So we can say that here also this space will also be 3 meters. Find the illumination. So just need to find the illumination. Where? Illumination means this lamp will have illumination on the surface. But at what point you need to find the illumination? So they have given here illumination at a point on the ground directly below 500 candle power lamp. So this is 500. Let me take this as 500 candle power lamp. And this is 1200 candle power lamp. So you need to find the illumination exactly below this lamp. So this is the point. Let me take this as point A. So you need to find illumination at A. Right. So to solve this, first let me understand, we have two lamps and uh, they have mentioned a point. Exactly below this lamp, you need to find the illumination. So at this point, we will get a light from this lamp as well as from this lamp. Both will give the effect. But this lamp will have the direct effect over there, whereas from this lamp, we will get some line, inclined light. So we get the light like this. So it is inclined. We get an angle here. Inclined in the sense we get an angle called theta. Right. But here we don't have any angle. We have it directly. So now we can say that the illumination at this point is because of two lamps. One and two. So when we add, we should consider first you need to find the illumination effect at this point because of this lamp. And after that you consider this point, this lamp. Then add those two. That will give you the total illumination. So to do that, we have, say the solution, let me start it here. So because of this lamp, say illumination, we denote it as E at point A. 
because of lamp 1 i will denote it as ea1 can be given as we have a formula for that that is in lumi luminous intensity divided by the distance square square of the distance between these two point source and the ground now the i indicates luminous intensity or its candle power so if the candle power of this lamp is 500 that is the capacity of this lamp and distance is 10 meters they have given it so it is 10 square so 10 square means it's 100 so we can say that 500 by 100 it will be a 5 and unit of illumination is lux so because of this lamp at this point we have 5 lux okay now we consider this this lamp using this let's see what will be the effect on this point a so now e a 2 is equal to the formula is i by d square but it should be multiplied with cos theta this is actually the general formula okay here i have not considered cos theta you may get confused why you have not considered cos theta here also if i consider cos theta let's see what's going to happen here cos theta is nothing but what theta is nothing but that is an angle between this point okay between the source and the point here we have an angle theta whereas when I consider this lamp, this lamp to A, we don't have any angle. The angle between this lamp to A is 0. So in this formula, if you apply cos 0, cos 0 is 1. So we get I by D square into 1. So that's why I have not mentioned cos theta. But the general formula is I by D square into cos theta. Right? If it is of a normal or a straight line, then you just take it as cos theta is 1. If not, you should consider the angle. But here we have, there is an angle. So you should mention that. So, I is given that is 1200. D, we don't know. See, this is the distance now. Between this lamp to this point, distance is D. That we don't know. We need to find it. Okay. So, let me write it as it is D square. And we don't even know the angle cos theta. So, we just need to identify these two parameters. We just need to find those two parameters. So, I will just remove this question. I will erase the question so that we can solve it further. Right. So, this picture is enough for understanding the concept. Now, let us see how to find D and cos theta. So, for this, we know that this A to, let me take this is point B. A to B, we have 3 meters because the same what we have here space, same space will be there. And we know that this is 10 meters and consider this triangle and draw it as a right angle triangle. So, if I represent this in a right angle triangle, it will be like this. So, here this is the D which actually we need to find, we need to calculate. Okay. So, name, let me take this is lamp. So, here we have a lamp that is of 1200. Okay. So, this is 1200 source, candle power lamp. And B, this is the point B. So, here where we have that point B, so this is 90 degree. That is actually 90 degree. So, here we have 90 degree. Right. So, this is B. And this is A. So, this is A. You need to find this angle theta. So, represent this. This is going to become the base or adjacent. This is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse. So, arrange that triangle properly. Then, we have this as 10 meters. Here to here, we have 10 meters as a height. And this portion, A to B is 3 meters. So, considering this, we can find D. Apply Pythagoras theorem, D is equal to 3 square plus 10 square. So, apply that and once we apply that, we get an answer as, uh, if we simplify that, we get it as 10.44 meters. That is the distance. So, we got distance here. So, here itself I will substitute it. So, it is 10.44 square. Now let's see what is cos theta. So here let me try to get that cos theta. Cos theta is nothing but what? Adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent by hypotenuse. If you don't remember this, you can have a simple statement. Okay, I already told you in my previous videos. Some people have curly brown hairs. Curly means C, that is cos theta. Brown means base. By hairs, hairs is nothing but H, so hypotenuse. That is how you can remember it. Base means adjacent, the H stands for hypotenuse. So, what is the base and what is the, adjacent? What is the adjacent? That is 10. And what is the hypotenuse? That is D. 
and we got the ds 10.44 so if you simplify this we get the cos theta so once we simplify this we get it as a 0.707 so we will get the answer so we will get the result over there ok let me keep it as it is and uh, simplify it here substitute 10 by 10.44 this is cos theta ok so now once after getting those two we can substitute and get the illumination at this point because of the lamp 1200 candle power so that answer will be 10.546 lux lux is the unit so this is the illumination at point A because of this lamp and this is the illumination at point A because of this lamp ok why question is to find what is the total illumination at this point so just therefore you can say the total illumination at point A is this plus this you need to add this to so 10 plus 5 is 15 15.546 lux this is how we need to solve it so the basic question a formula for illumination is i by d square into cos theta where i is luminous intensity d is the distance and cos theta is an angle if it is a straight line then you won't get the cos theta theta will be 0 so cos theta will be 1 so that is how we can solve it ok so now let's move for the second question let's look into the second question so in the second question they have mentioned that there are two lamps which posts uh, from uh, at a distance of 20 meter so both the lamps are placed 20 meters apart each other and fitted with the lamps of luminous intensity 200 candle power each so both are of same capacity same candle power that is 200 at a height of 6 meter above the ground so height is given find the illumination on the ground at two different cases they are given two cases first case under each lamp what would be the illumination and midway between the lamps so first see what is the diagram here draw this there are two lamps so first let us just have a lamp 1 and a lamp 2 so there are two lamps here and among these two lamps each lamp having the same candle power both are of 200 candle power so this will also have the 200 even this will also have 200 and the height from the ground so height from the ground level is 6 meter so let me draw this as 6 meters and even this height is of 6 meters the spacing between those two is 20 meter 20 meter apart both are placed 20 meter apart so this will be 20 here to from this point to this point it will be 20 meters so we got 20 meters distance right and now the question is to find the illumination under each lamp and then midway so first let us take up the first case case 1 under each lamp say this is point A and point B so this point A is a, a position where we have exactly under this lamp and point B is exactly under the lamp 2. So both means you need to find the illumination under each lamp. So that A and B you need to find the illumination. So definitely A will get a illumination effect from this lamp as well as from this lamp. Even B will get effect from this lamp and this lamp. So now one thing you need to understand here, illumination at A will be equal to illumination at B because both lamps are of having same capacity both are placed at same height and both are having uh, effects means this will have effect on this point even this will have effect on this point because of both are of same capacity you will get same illumination at both the points if there was a different capacity of a lamp then you would have got a different illumination at different points so it means that if you find the illumination at one point, that will be the same at the other point. Okay. So let me find the illumination at this point. To find the illumination here, definitely we will have a light from this lamp on this point, and also we will have a light from this effect from this lamp on this point. Right. So those two will be the effect on this point that you need to find. So be, now let me write it the illumination the intensity of this is luminous intensity of this lamp is i by d square cos theta plus because of this lamp whatever the effect you get here that will also you need to consider i by d square cos theta and this is a straight line so here we don't have any angle with respect to this lamp we don't have any angle this lamp and point the, therefore this we can say that theta is 0 
So cos zero is one. So that's why you can you can directly write it as if exact if you are considering a point which is exactly below the lamp, then you can just take elimination as i by d square. And this is having creating an angle. This is creating an angle theta. So you need to consider theta. Now we can substitute the information given here. I is two hundred. That is candle power. Distance from this point to this is six. So six square. Easily we get the answer. But look into this. Here I is two hundred. That remains same. But the distance is not this distance. This is the distance. Now. And cos theta you need to substitute and calculate it. So let's see how to find it. So the same process now. Consider this triangle and write it as a right angle triangle. So you can consider it like this. This is the theta. What you need to find. This is the distance d. So this is going to become the base or adjacent, and this is going to become the perpendicular line. Right. So we have b. This is 90 degree. So this is the point b, and here this is the lamp. This is a. So b to a it is 20. Just I am reversing this and placing it here, so that it will be easy to find d. So d is equal to square root of 6 square plus 20 square. Simplify that and you get an answer. That number we can substitute it here. Same way, cos theta is equal to base is 6 by hypotenuse is d. So whatever the answer you get over there, d, that answer you can substitute. I have already simplified. Let me note it down. So 20.88 meter will be the answer of. Uh, the distance. So you can say here six by twenty point eight eight. So once you substitute it here, we get d as twenty point eight eight square into cos theta is six by twenty point eight eight. So therefore, we can say E A illumination at point A is equal to illumination at point B, which is equal to the simplified answer. So the simplified answer for this is five point six. Double eight lux. This is the answer for first condition. Illumination under each point. So no need of doing it again for point B because we have same lights and we have same height. If this is two hundred and if this is made up of five hundred candle power, then illumination at A and B will be different. Got the point? So now because of those two are having a same capacity, we get same lighting at both the point. So I'll just equate it like this. Now let's see what is the second condition. So I'll just erase uh, this and let us see how to find this midway lighting, lighting between this midway of those two lamps. So midway bit, uh, between the lamps, we will find the illumination at midway between the lamps. Okay. So midway between the lamp is nothing but we have lamp here, lamp one, and this is lamp two, lamp one and lamp two. The midway distance is twenty, so the midway will be this. Here somewhere, let me take this is the midway. Midway in this sense, I will split it as a this as ten meters, and here also I will split it as a ten meters. Now this is the point. Now let me take this point as C. That is the point C. Okay. So let me take the another marker. Now you need to find the illumination at point C. Definitely here we don't have any other source which can give you the exact lighting here, but we have two different lamps here, and the lighting from this lamp will be inclined like this. We get light from this lamp that is also inclined, right? So now this is what the angle. Both the side we are getting an angle now, so we can say that the illumination at C E C is equal to I by d square. Cos theta. This is because of lamp one plus i by d square cos theta. This is because of lamp two. And one more thing, I will tell you. Whatever the value we get here means uh, i by d square cos theta. Means if I consider lamp one, both will have means here. Say the distance here is say this is d one and this distance. Let me take this as d two. Both d one and d two will remain same because. We are taking the exact midpoint. At this point, the distance from this lamp to this point and the distance from this lamp to this point will be same. So, if you find d1, that will be equal to d2. If you find if you find this is 10, this will be 10. If this is 6, even this is 6. And lamps are also same. So, what I mean to say is, if I find this information, this will remain same. So, finally, what I can do here is, I will just find it 
find for lamp one. Okay, I will find it for lamp one and multiply it two times. Instead of adding it, writing it again and adding, we will just multiply it twice because we get the same effect at this point C. Whatever the lighting effect I am getting from this point, same effect I get from this point because of all similar characters. Both are having same candle power, same height and same distance. We got D1, D2 are same distance because we are considering the midpoint. Instead of midpoint, if I consider somewhere here, then this will be the D1 and this is going to be D2. So then D1, D2 will be different. And also this is also different. Parallel point will also be different. But now we are considering the midpoint, so every information will remain same. So once you find this D1, then uh, substitute it here and multiply it by 2, we will get the answer. Again, we will consider the same methodology, say D1. Okay, so to find D1, you can consider this and this, that is 6 square plus 10 square, we will get the answer for D1. So that simplified answer will be 11.66 meter. Now let's see about the cos theta. Cos theta is again, it is, here you consider this triangle, this is the base, 6 by hypotenuse is 11.66, that is D1. Substitute this value here and get the answer. So the candle power is 200 by 11.66 square into 6 by 11.66, whole multiplied into 2. So the resultant answer will be the Final answer here, 1.514 lux. This is the answer. So that is the illumination what I am getting at this point, midpoint between the two lamps. Earlier, the illumination at point A and point B was uh, 5.688. Here I got 5.688 lux. But when we go in midpoint, here I am getting only 1.514 lux. It means the illumination exactly below the lamp will be high. When we move further, illumination at this point go on, it will be reducing. So, when we are moving from this point to this, it has been reduced. I hope this is clear. Now, let me take one more example and I make it very simple for you to understand how to analyze this kind of an, a question set. So, in this question, there is a single lamp, a lamp of luminous intensity 1200 candle power. Only, only one lamp we have and its candle power is 1200. It is mounted at a height of 12 meters from the ground above the center of a circular area 20 meter in diameter. So this is one different statement we have here. It is uh, mounted at a height of 12 meters and above the center of a circular area 20 meter. Now the ground is of circular area. So it has been mentioned like this. So there is a circular area its diameter is of 20 meter, its diameter is of 20 meter and we have a lamp of so and so candle power and with a height of 12 meters. So somewhere here we have a lamp, right. So its capacity is 1200 candle power and it is giving a light from this point to this point, center of this uh, area to consider. This is above the center of the circular area, that's why we take it above the center. This is the center and above that we have a lamp and its height is 12 meters, right, this is the circular area, so it is giving a illumination for the circular area, so let us see what you need to find here, the, determine the maximum and minimum, okay, define, determine the maximum and minimum illumination produced on the area, so on this area, where and what will be the maximum illumination and what will be the minimum illumination, Okay, that is a simple question. So, the way of asking question is different, but the formulas remains the same. Only the thing you need to un analyze it easily. So, once you got this picture, now we can analyze. What is maximum and minimum? Where do we actually get the maximum illumination? When we consider only one lamp, we get maximum illumination exactly below that. If this is a lamp exactly below that, we will get a maximum illumination. So, at this point, we get maximum illumination. Let me name this as point A. And this is exactly at the center of the circle, that is what mentioned, above the center of the circle. So it is mentioned here. So you can say this distance is 10 meters and this distance is 10 meters. And where do we get minimum point? So minimum illumination will be produced at the edge of the surface area. We are getting light and at the edge of this, end of this, we get the minimum lighting. So this point, let me name this here, this is the end here, this is the edge. So let me name this as B and this is another edge that is C. 
So at this point, even at this point, and the both point B and C, we get minimum illumination. So you can just find any lighting at uh, illumination at any one of the point. See, this is dotted line I used. So here, this is the light effect we have from this lamp at this point B. And here we get minimum illumination because this is a bit far away from this lamp. Right, first let us find the maximum illumination. So to find that maximum illumination, we have a simple same formula we will follow here. Illumination at point A will be given as this is the point A. See this decision what you are going to make here is important. For that you should draw this and analyze it. So now at point A, what is the illumination we get? We are getting that is I by D square cos theta. This is the formula. Here we don't have any angle, so cos theta is zero. So cos zero is one. So it will be finally just I by D square. Then what is the value of I and D square? Just substitute here the answer. The I is nothing but intensity of luminous intensity. That is 1200. And what is the distance D here is 12. That is 12 square. D square it is. So once you simplify this, the answer will be, the result will be 8.333 gone lux. That will be the effect. So this is the maximum illumination we are getting because of this lamp in that particular area. In that particular area we are considering. Circular area. Now, Let's see the minimum illumination. So for minimum illumination, what we can do? We get the same condition. So we get minimum illumination at two points, at B and C. But we can find any one. Both will have the same result because same distance, same D and same lamp we have. So we find any one of it. So that we can do it like this. I by D square cos theta. Where the distance here, this is D. You need to find this distance and you need to find the cos theta. So take this triangle, right angle triangle. This is considered as a base. This is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse. The so base is 12. What you can say find D. D is 12 square plus 10 square. Square root of that. So you can say here D can be given as 12 square plus 10 square and square root. This is according to the Pythagoras theorem. So we get the value of D and that value is going to be 15.62. So I'll substitute it here. 15.62. This is how we get D. Right. I is 1200, same lamp. Cos theta. So curly brown here. That is cos is equal to cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. So adjacent is adjacent is 12. Hypotenuse is D. That is 15.62. So you can find it as 12 by cos theta can be given as 12 by 15.62. And this is square. 15.6 square. So once you simplify this, you get the result. And that would be 3.777 lux. So let me write it here. 3.777 lux. So this would be the minimum illumination in this particular area. So we are not saying that this is what the minimum beyond means. If the lighting is fall, if this light falls beyond this, here also we get some illumination. But in this question, they have mentioned that within the 20 meters of circular area, what will be the maximum and what will be the minimum. So within this area, maximum is exactly below the lamp, that is 8.33 lux, and minimum will be at the edge of this, that is B, that is 3.77 lux. I hope this is very clear for you. Guys. So now you will be able to solve any kind of questions asked on the illumination. If it is so, then like the video, share among your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.